天不可侵犯，聊天吧，聊吧。Imagine walking through your fields only to find your crops destroyed, the ground torn up like a battlefield. This is the reality for many American farmers facing a growing threat: invasive wild boars. These aren't your cute pink farm animals. These are aggressive, destructive creatures, tearing through farmland and wreaking havoc. Wild boars, also known as feral hogs, are a growing problem across the United States. Originally brought from Europe in the 1500s, they've spread like wildfire. With no natural predators and a knack for reproduction, they've become a menace in at least 35 states. Farmers are on the front lines of this battle; their livelihoods at stake. These invaders don't discriminate. Devouring crops, destroying fences, and even threatening livestock—it's a constant struggle against a relentless enemy. The question isn't if the boars will strike, but when and where. Farmers are fighting back, employing innovative strategies and sheer grit to protect their land and their way of life. This is the story of their fight. Picture a field of corn ready for harvest. Now imagine a sounder of wild boars. 30, 40, even 50 strong, rampaging through it. They devour the crops, trample the rest, leaving a path of destruction in their wake. This is the reality for farmers battling this invasive species. It's not just corn; these eating machines consume almost anything—fruits, vegetables, nuts, even small animals. Nothing is safe. Their sharp tusks, up to five inches long, can uproot entire fields in a single night, turning fertile land into barren wastelands. But the damage goes beyond crops. Boars compete with native wildlife for food, disrupting the natural balance. They carry diseases that can infect livestock and even humans. Their aggressive nature poses a threat to farm animals and pets. These aren't isolated incidents; it's a widespread problem. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates wild boars cause over two and a half billion dollars in damage annually. This isn't just a nuisance; it's an economic crisis for many farmers already struggling with thin margins. The economic toll of wild boar damage extends far beyond the immediate loss of crops. Farmers face a ripple effect of expenses, cutting into their already tight profits and impacting rural economies. Replanting destroyed fields, repairing fences, and treating sick livestock all add up, putting a strain on their resources. The cost of control measures further burdens farmers. Traps, bait, fencing, and professional assistance all come with a hefty price tag. Forcing them to make tough choices about where to invest their limited funds, the impact reaches beyond individual farms. The USDA estimates that wild boar damage leads to job losses in agriculture and related industries. Local communities dependent on farming suffer as the economic engine sputters. This isn't just about protecting crops; it's about safeguarding the livelihoods of hardworking Americans. The fight against wild boars is a fight for the future of our farms and the communities they support. Facing this relentless enemy, American farmers are fighting back with ingenuity, determination, and a deep love for their land. It's an uphill battle, requiring a combination of traditional methods and innovative solutions. Trapping is a common tactic, using cages baited with tempting treats like corn or sweet potatoes. But boars are intelligent creatures, learning to avoid traps or even dismantling them. Farmers must constantly adapt. Using different trap designs, baiting strategies, and placement to outsmart these wily invaders, fencing offers another layer of protection, but it's no easy feat. Boars are powerful diggers, capable of rooting under fences or even breaking through weak points. Farmers are turning to reinforced fencing, electric wires, and even concrete barriers to keep them at bay. But this isn't a battle farmers can win alone. Collaboration is key. With neighbors, wildlife agencies, and researchers working together to share knowledge, resources, and strategies. Section five: Trapping the enemy, outsmarting the boars. Trapping wild boars is a game of wits, a constant back and forth between farmer and beast. Boars are incredibly smart, learning from their encounters and adapting their behavior. Farmers must stay one step ahead, constantly refining their trapping techniques. The key is to understand boar behavior. They're creatures of habit, following established trails and feeding patterns. Farmers use this to their advantage, placing traps along these routes and camouflaging them to blend in with the surroundings. Bait is another crucial element. Farmers experiment with different food sources, appealing to the boar's voracious appetites. Sweet fermented baits are particularly effective, attracting boars from afar with their pungent aroma. 
But it's not just about the food. Boars are social animals, traveling in sounders. Farmers utilize this by employing corral traps, large enclosures capable of capturing entire groups at once. These traps are often triggered remotely, allowing farmers to monitor activity and trap the boars when the entire sounder is present. Section 6. Fences and Barriers. Holding the Line. Fences are a farmer's first line of defense, but traditional fences are often no match for the brute strength and cunning of wild boars. These determined creatures can push through weak points, topple fences with their snouts, and even dig under barriers. To effectively keep boars out, farmers are turning to more robust solutions. Reinforced fencing is essential. Using heavier gauge wire, closer spacing between wires, and sturdy posts sunk deep into the ground helps prevent boars from pushing through or digging under. Some farmers add a second layer of fencing, creating a buffer zone to further deter entry. Electric fencing adds another deterrent. A mild shock from an electrified wire can teach boars to avoid the fence. Farmers often combine electric wires with traditional fencing, placing the electric wires at a height that delivers a memorable zap to the boars' sensitive snouts. In extreme cases, concrete barriers may be necessary. While more expensive, these permanent structures provide an impenetrable barrier, protecting valuable crops and livestock. Building and maintaining these robust fences requires significant investment, but it's a necessary expense in the ongoing battle against wild boar damage. Section 7. Working Together. Community Action. The fight against wild boars is not one that farmers can win alone. It requires a coordinated effort, bringing together neighbors, communities, and government agencies to share knowledge, resources, and strategies. Communication is key. Farmers regularly share information about boar sightings, trapping successes, and effective control methods. This network of shared knowledge helps everyone stay informed and adapt their strategies as needed. Cooperative trapping programs are becoming increasingly common. Neighbors pool their resources to purchase larger traps, share baiting costs, and coordinate trapping efforts across a wider area. This collaborative approach helps control boar populations more effectively than individual efforts. Government agencies like the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, or AFIS, play a crucial role. They provide technical assistance, conduct research on boar behavior and control methods, and implement programs to manage boar populations on a larger scale. Section 8. Canine Partners. Nose to the Ground. In the fight against wild boars, farmers have found invaluable allies in a surprising partner dogs. Specifically trained hog dogs use their keen sense of smell and natural hunting instincts to track, corner, and hold boars at bay until the farmer arrives. These aren't your typical house pets. Hog dogs are bred and trained for their courage, stamina, and ability to withstand the rigors of pursuing these powerful animals. They work in teams, using their agility and teamwork to outmaneuver and contain the boars. Farmers rely on these canine partners to locate boars hiding in dense undergrowth, track their movements, and protect livestock from attack. The dog's presence acts as a deterrent, making boars think twice about approaching farms where these four-legged guardians roam. The bond between a farmer and their hog dogs is strong. These animals are more than just tools. They're trusted partners, working side by side to protect the land and livelihood of those who depend on it. Section 9. A never-ending struggle, the future of the fight. The battle against wild boars is far from over. Their adaptability, intelligence, and rapid reproduction rates make them a persistent adversary. Farmers and researchers are continuously seeking new and innovative ways to manage their populations and mitigate their damage. Research into boar behavior, biology, and control methods is crucial. Understanding their movement patterns, reproductive cycles, and vulnerabilities will help develop more effective and targeted control strategies. New technologies, such as advanced trapping systems, GPS tracking collars, and even contraceptives, are being explored as potential tools in the fight. These innovations offer hope for more efficient and humane ways to manage boar populations. Public awareness is also vital. Educating the public about the threat of wild boars, the importance of responsible hunting practices, and the role everyone plays in preventing their spread is essential to winning this ongoing battle. Section 10. Protecting Our Land. A Shared Responsibility. The fight against invasive wild boars is not just about protecting crops and livestock. 
It's about safeguarding our environment, our economy, and our way of life. It's a responsibility shared by farmers, communities, and policymakers alike. Supporting our farmers who are on the front lines of this battle is crucial. Providing resources for research, control programs, and financial assistance can help alleviate the burden on those most affected by boar damage. Implementing responsible hunting regulations, promoting ethical hunting practices, and encouraging public participation in control efforts can help manage boar populations. Ultimately, protecting our land from the threat of invasive species requires a long-term commitment to conservation, collaboration, and a shared understanding that the health of our environment is inextricably linked to the well-being of our communities. Did you know that an estimated 6 million wild boars roam freely across at least 39 states in the U.S.? These wild boars, also known as feral hogs, have become a significant presence in various landscapes, from dense forests to open fields. Their adaptability and resilience have allowed them to thrive in diverse environments, making them a common sight in many rural and even suburban areas. These aren't your cute pink farm animals. Wild boars are a completely different breed, both literally and figuratively. They are descendants of the Eurasian wild boar and have interbred with domestic pigs, resulting in a hybrid that possesses the worst traits of both. Their appearance alone is enough to distinguish them from their domesticated cousins. With coarse, dark hair, muscular builds, and sharp tusks, they are built for survival and aggression. We're talking about aggressive, intelligent creatures with razor-sharp tusks. These tusks are not just for show, they are formidable weapons that can cause serious injury to predators, humans, and other animals. Wild boars are known for their intelligence and cunning, often outsmarting traps and hunters. Their aggressive nature makes them a threat to anyone who crosses their path, especially during mating season or when they feel threatened. These feral hogs are a far cry from the domesticated pigs we know. While domesticated pigs are bred for docility and meat production, wild boars are the epitome of untamed wildlife. They are constantly on the move, foraging for food and marking their territory. Their diet is incredibly varied ranging from roots and tubers to small animals and carrion. This omnivorous diet allows them to survive in a wide range of habitats. They're bigger, stronger, and far more destructive. Wild boars can weigh up to 300 pounds and have a powerful build that allows them to plow through underbrush and even fences. Their rooting behavior, where they dig up the ground in search of food, can cause extensive damage to crops, lawns, and natural habitats. This destructive behavior not only affects the environment, but also has significant economic impacts on agriculture and property. Their numbers have exploded in recent decades, turning them into a real problem for landowners, farmers, and the environment. The population boom can be attributed to several factors, including their high reproductive rate and lack of natural predators. A single female can give birth to multiple litters each year, with each litter containing up to a dozen piglets. This rapid reproduction rate, combined with their adaptability, has led to an exponential increase in their population. Efforts to control their numbers have included hunting, trapping, and even the use of contraceptives, but these measures have had limited success. The wild boar explosion is a complex issue that requires a multifaceted approach to manage effectively. Imagine a pack of wild boars tearing through your carefully planted fields, uprooting plants and trampling over the soil. These creatures, with their relentless energy and powerful snouts, can turn a thriving field into a wasteland in a matter of hours, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. The aftermath is a scene of chaos, crops destroyed, soil disturbed, and the hard work of farmers undone in an instant. That's the reality for many farmers and landowners across the country. They wake up to find their fields ravaged, their livelihoods threatened by these invasive animals. The emotional and financial toll is immense. These animals are eating machines, consuming crops, and uprooting vegetation with their powerful snouts. They are not picky eaters. They will devour anything in their path, from corn to soybeans, and even root vegetables. Their feeding habits destroy habitats for other wildlife and spread diseases to livestock and even humans. The ecological balance is disrupted as native species lose their homes and food sources. Moreover, feral hogs are carriers of numerous diseases, posing a significant risk to both farm animals and people. The damage they cause is extensive, costing millions of dollars annually. Farmers are forced to invest in expensive fencing and other deterrents, but these measures are often only partially effective. The economic impact extends beyond the immediate damage to crops. It affects the entire agricultural industry, 
leading to higher food prices and economic instability in rural communities. Wildlife experts and community leaders are working tirelessly to find solutions to this growing problem. Strategies include controlled hunting, trapping, and even the use of technology to monitor and manage hog populations. However, the challenge is immense, and the battle against feral hogs is far from over. Innovative traps and drones are being deployed to track and capture these elusive animals. These high-tech solutions offer some hope, but they require significant investment and coordination among various stakeholders. Educational programs are also being implemented to inform farmers and landowners about effective control methods. Knowledge sharing and community cooperation are crucial in mitigating the impact of feral hogs. Despite the challenges, there is hope. With continued effort and collaboration, it is possible to restore the balance and protect our fields and wildlife from the destructive nature of feral hogs. This is where hunters come in. We play a crucial role in managing these overpopulated and destructive creatures. But hunting wild boar is no walk in the park. These animals are incredibly tough, with thick hides and a knack for survival. They're also incredibly smart, learning from their encounters with humans and adapting their behaviors to avoid danger. This makes hunting them a true test of skill, patience, and strategy. Wild boars are primarily nocturnal, preferring to move under the cover of darkness, so we have to adapt our hunting tactics accordingly. Night vision and thermal imaging scopes have become essential tools for hog hunters, allowing us to track and target these animals in low-light conditions. These technologies give us a significant advantage, leveling the playing field against these elusive creatures of the night. The Thrill of the Hunt – A Hog Hunting Adventure there's something primal and exhilarating about setting out into the wild, armed with skill, strategy, and a sense of camaraderie. The anticipation builds as the first light of dawn breaks, casting a golden hue over the landscape. The air is crisp, filled with the scent of earth and foliage, and the sounds of nature waking up. It's a moment that every hunter cherishes, a prelude to the adventure that lies ahead. I remember one particularly memorable hog hunt in the Texas Hill Country. The rolling hills and rugged terrain provided the perfect backdrop for our expedition. The Texas Hill Country is known for its diverse wildlife and challenging hunting conditions, making it a favorite destination for hunters. Our camp was set up in a secluded area, surrounded by towering oak trees and the distant calls of wildlife. As we gathered around the campfire the night before, sharing stories and strategies, there was a palpable sense of excitement in the air. We were using a combination of dogs and thermal imaging to track a large sounder which is a group of hogs, through dense brush. The use of technology in hunting has revolutionized the way we approach the sport. Thermal imaging allows us to see in the dark, detecting the heat signatures of animals hidden in the underbrush. Our dogs, trained to track and corner hogs, were an essential part of our team. Their keen senses and relentless drive made them invaluable in the hunt. As we moved through the brush, the dogs led the way, their noses to the ground, picking up the scent of our quarry. The dogs were going crazy, their barks echoing through the night. It was a symphony of sound, a mix of excitement and urgency. The night was alive with activity, the rustling of leaves, the distant calls of nocturnal animals, and the steady rhythm of our footsteps. The dogs' barks grew louder and more frantic as they closed in on the sounder. It was a thrilling chase, a test of endurance and skill. The bond between hunter and dog was evident a partnership forged through countless hours of training and shared experiences. We finally cornered the hogs in a ravine, their dark shapes illuminated by our thermal scopes. The ravine was a natural trap, its steep sides preventing the hogs from escaping. The thermal scopes painted a vivid picture, the hogs' heat signatures glowing against the cool background. It was a moment of intense focus, every sense heightened, every movement calculated. The hogs, sensing their predicament, were agitated, their grunts and snorts filling the air. It was a standoff, a test of nerves and precision. The adrenaline rush was intense as we made our shots, bringing down several hogs and helping to manage their population. The thrill of the hunt culminated in that moment, a mix of relief and triumph. We celebrated our success, not just for the hunt, but for the role we played in controlling the hog population, which is crucial for maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. The camaraderie among the hunters was palpable, a shared sense of achievement and respect for the land and its inhabitants. As we gathered our harvest and made our way back to camp, the sense of fulfillment was profound. The adventure had been a success, a testament to the skill, strategy, and teamwork that defines the essence of hunting. 
bringing home the bacon, utilizing the boar's bounty. Now after a successful hunt, we don't let anything go to waste. Wild boar meat, while often overlooked, can be incredibly delicious when prepared correctly. It's leaner than domestic pork and has a richer, more gamey flavor. From sausages and stews to roasts and barbecue, the culinary possibilities are endless. By utilizing the boar's bounty, we honor the animal and minimize waste. Conservation through hunting. Protecting our ecosystem. Hog hunting is about more than just the thrill of the chase or putting food on the table. It's about conservation. By controlling wild boar populations, we're helping to protect our native ecosystems. We're giving other species a fighting chance to thrive and preventing further damage to our valuable farmland and natural resources. It's a responsibility we take seriously. The future of hog hunting. A call to action. The fight against invasive wild boars is far from over. It's going to take a continued effort from hunters, landowners, and policymakers alike. We need to support responsible hunting practices, promote public awareness about the issue, and work together to find innovative solutions. The future of our ecosystems depends on it. Imagine a pest so destructive it can plow through a field of corn overnight, leaving nothing but muddy destruction in its wake. Now picture this pest with razor-sharp tusks, weighing over 200 pounds, and multiplying faster than a rabbit in a carrot patch. This isn't some horror movie monster. It's the reality American farmers face every day with the wild boar invasion. These aren't your cute pink farm pigs. We're talking aggressive, invasive wild boars tearing through America's heartland. They devour crops, threaten livestock, and leave a trail of destruction wherever they roam. For farmers, it's a constant battle to protect their livelihood from these four-legged wrecking balls. This ain't no picnic, folks. This is a real-life monster movie, and our farmers are on the front lines. <laughs> Across the country, farmers are facing an enemy they can't ignore. This enemy is not a drought, nor a flood, but something far more relentless and destructive. These wild boars are relentless eating machines, capable of consuming vast amounts of crops in a single night. They devour everything in their path, from corn and wheat to soybeans and peanuts. No crop is safe from their insatiable hunger. They'll even go after fruit trees and vegetable gardens, leaving farmers with decimated fields and empty wallets. The damage they cause is not just limited to the crops they consume. It's not just about the crops they eat, though. Their presence brings a cascade of destruction. These destructive hogs root through the soil, tearing up fields and leaving them vulnerable to erosion. The soil, once fertile and ready for planting, becomes a chaotic mess. Imagine spending months preparing your land, planting your seeds, only to have a sounder of hogs turn it into a muddy wasteland overnight. The emotional toll on farmers is immense. That's the reality for many farmers. They wake up to find their hard work and hopes trampled and destroyed. The financial strain is immense. The losses are not just in the crops, but in the time, effort, and money invested. Lost crops, damaged land, and the constant need for expensive control measures are putting a serious dent in farmers' incomes. The battle against these wild boars is ongoing and costly. This isn't just about protecting their farms, it's about protecting their way of life. For many, farming is not just a job, but a legacy and a livelihood that spans generations. So how did these destructive hogs take over? The story goes back to the late 19th and early 20th centuries when European wild boars were brought to America for hunting. Some escaped, others were released intentionally, and boy did they make themselves at home. With no natural predators and a knack for adapting to different environments, these wild pigs exploded in population. They bred with feral domestic pigs, creating a hybrid super pest even more resilient and destructive. Today, an estimated 6 million wild pigs are wreaking havoc in at least 35 states, and their numbers are only growing. These aren't just a nuisance in rural areas anymore. Wild boars are increasingly popping up in suburban backyards, parks, and even golf courses. This rapid spread is a testament to their adaptability and a stark reminder of the serious threat they pose. Faced with this porcine plague, American farmers aren't backing down without a fight. They are standing their ground, ready to defend their farms and families. They're tough, resourceful, and they're pulling out all the stops to protect their land and their livelihoods. From dawn till dusk, their dedication never wavers. 
Trapping is a common method. It's a strategic approach that requires patience and precision. Farmers build sturdy traps baited with tempting treats like corn or sweet feed. These traps are meticulously placed in areas frequented by the hogs. When the hogs enter to pig out, the trap door slams shut, catching the whole sounder. Then there's hunting, another crucial tactic in their arsenal. Many farmers organize hunts to cull the boar population. These hunts are well coordinated and often involve the entire community. It's not about sport, it's about survival. Every hunt is a battle for their future. Armed with rifles and thermal imaging scopes, they head out in the dead of night, taking aim at this invasive species. The darkness is their ally, giving them the element of surprise. It's a constant battle, a race against time and a rapidly reproducing enemy. The stakes are high and the pressure is relentless. But American farmers, they're a determined bunch. They band together, sharing knowledge and resources to tackle this menace. They don't give up easily. Every setback is met with renewed determination and a stronger resolve. They know the stakes are high and they're in it for the long haul. Their resilience and tenacity are their greatest weapons in this ongoing fight. Section 5. A Day in the Life. The Boer War Up Close. Meet Joe, a fifth-generation farmer from Texas. His family has worked this land for over a century, passing down not just the land, but also the knowledge and love for farming through generations. But these days, Joe's days are consumed by the constant battle against wild hogs, a relentless enemy that shows no mercy. Every morning, it's the same routine, Joe says, as he prepares for another day of hard work and vigilance. Wiping sweat from his brow, he reflects on the challenges he faces daily. I check the fences for breaches, the fields for damage, hoping to God those hogs haven't paid another visit. The damage they cause is not just physical but also emotional, as each ruined crop represents hours of labor lost. Joe's learned the heart, this is our home, our heritage. This land is our lifeblood, the very essence of our existence, and we'll be damned if we let some invasive hogs take it from us. With determination and grit, Joe stands resolute, ready to face whatever comes his way. Section 6. The High Cost of Hogs The war against wild hogs isn't cheap. Farmers are shelling out big bucks on everything from reinforced fencing and high-tech traps to night vision goggles and ammunition. It's a significant financial burden, especially for smaller farms already struggling to make ends meet. But the costs go beyond the farm gate. Wild hogs cause millions of dollars in damage to public lands, parks, and infrastructure every year. They tear up roads, contaminate water sources, and even damage historical and archaeological sites. Then there are the ecological costs. These invasive hogs compete with native wildlife for food and resources. They prey on ground-nesting birds, reptiles, and amphibians, disrupting delicate ecosystems. Their rooting habits spread invasive plant species, further threatening native flora. Section 7. Community and Cooperation strength in numbers. In the face of this overwhelming challenge, one thing has become abundantly clear. Farmers can't fight this battle alone. Across the country, communities are coming together, sharing resources, knowledge, and manpower to combat the wild hog invasion. Neighbors help neighbors repair damaged fences and set traps in their fields. Local hunting clubs organize coordinated hunts to maximize their impact and efficiency. Farmers share stories, successes and failures, learning from each other's experiences and insights. There's strength in numbers, and by working together, sharing the burden and supporting one another, farmers are finding ways to push back against the relentless tide of hogs. Section 8. New Technologies, New Hope. The fight against wild hogs isn't just about old-fashioned grit and determination. Science and technology are playing an increasing role in this ecological battleground. Researchers are exploring innovative new methods to control boar populations. One promising avenue is the development of boar-specific contraceptives. By targeting the hogs' reproductive systems, scientists hope to slow down their breeding rates and eventually bring their numbers under control. Drones equipped with thermal imaging cameras are being used to locate and track hogs, allowing farmers to target their efforts more effectively. Sophisticated trapping systems use artificial intelligence to identify and capture entire sounders at once. These technological advancements offer a glimmer of hope in the fight against this invasive species. Combined with traditional methods and community cooperation, 
They represent a powerful arsenal in the ongoing battle to protect America's farmlands. Section 9. A Never-Ending Battle The fight against wild hogs is far from over. It's a battle fought one trap at a time, one hunt at a time, one fence repair at a time. It's a constant struggle against a relentless and adaptable enemy. There will be setbacks, there will be frustrations, and there will be days when it feels like the hogs are winning. But American farmers are a resilient bunch. They're used to hard work, they're accustomed to challenges, and they don't give up easily. The wild boar invasion is a stark reminder of the delicate balance of nature and the unintended consequences of human actions. But it's also a testament to the spirit of those who work the land, who protect our food supply, and who refuse to back down from a challenge. Section 10. American Farmers, Tough as Nails So the next time you sit down to a meal, take a moment to appreciate the hard work and dedication of American farmers. They're out there on the front lines, battling not just the elements and the market forces, but also a relentless invasive species. They are the backbone of our nation, feeding our families and fueling our economy. And in the face of this wild hog invasion, they are demonstrating the same grit, determination, and innovative spirit that have always defined American agriculture. The fight may be tough, but one thing's for sure, you don't bet against an American farmer. They've faced challenges before, and they'll face them again, armed with their wits, their work ethic, and a whole lot of heart.